What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make a numbered list that automatically updates using the sequence function. So here we have a list of tasks. And you want to have a numbered list next to the task that updates based on the number of tasks, tasks that we have in the list. So one, two, three, four, five. And you want this to update with the number of tasks. So to do this, we're going to use a sequence function. Now the sequence function just returns a sequence of numbers in Excel um, in an array. So to do this, we're going to do equal sequence, open parentheses. So the first argument is rows. So how many rows of data do we want returned? Um, this is where the dynamic part is gonna come in in a minute from now. But to show you how the sequence function works, I'm just going to type in a five, comma, columns, these next arguments are optional for the function to work, as you can tell by how they're in brackets, but we're going to want to use them. So for a column, we're just going to type in, in one because you only want one column of data to return. Comma start. So start is where do you want the count to start? We want the count to start at one. And then comma step. So step one, do we want the count to increment by? Well, we want it to increment by one. So type one right there, close parentheses, press enter. And now, as you can see, it goes from one to five. But we want, you know, this number right here, the max, to be equal to this right here. Um, so to do this, we're going to nest, replace the five with a count a function. And then we're going to highlight this range right here. But we want to make sure that we highlight something that is more than the range. And the reason why is because the count a is going to return Bit, return the count of the number of items that's in the task list and you want to make sure that it's always going to be able to properly account for the number of tasks that are there. So we need to just type in 1700 for this example. Close parentheses. And now as you can see we have a number in a task and as we take out items from the number or as we add in items to the number um, it automatically changes. But We'll just say we wanted to format this, right? Because this is just a number. So to format this, we can go to the Home tab. And then under the number group, we can see this little pop up right here. It's just as more. And then we can go down to Custom Format and then adjust the formatting right here. So just say, for example, we wanted to have um, a number but a parentheses, right? So to do this, we can put in a hashtag for the number. And then we're going to put in a double quotation mark, open parentheses, quotation mark. And then now we're going to click OK. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Going back to custom, there's no comma needed right there. It's so going to hashtag and then parentheses. And then we're going to click OK. And it says, as you can see, now we have the number in the parentheses. And to get this to apply to other text, we are going to copy this number, paste on the range you want to apply the formatting to. Then we're going to right click and then click paste special and then click paste special again. And then we're going to want to click format, click OK. And then boom, now we have a number list in Excel that automatically updates based on the tasks that we have in the list that is formatted. I said I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.